Hi, this is Dr. Kim, America's holistic foot doctor. When your toe gets pinched between the toe next to it and the ground, it can cause a pinch callus, which can cause a blister to form and become extremely painful. Let's see how I can get this to be comfortable right away. Let's get right into the video. Okay, now we have Ray here today. Hi, Ray. Hi. I don't Ray has this uh, what we call pinch calluses. As you can see, this is pinched from the fourth toe sitting on top of it and then the ground or the shoe pushing and then pinching this area causing this. Usually a blister first. Right Ray? You're yeah, asking about the blister. blister. You can see this one that it's got a blood blister we call it. As you can see, it's like that and it's very even very painful and annoying, right? Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna clean this all out and I'm gonna uh, share with you guys how um, we can, you know, take care of it at home before you get to the doctor. And he has also pinch callus over here as well. You can see where this big toe is pinched on the second toe and then the ground. This doesn't have a blister, but as you can see, this also can be quite bothersome as well. So we're just gonna clean these out so Ray was asking uh, before we filmed that uh, how we take care of this thing and when the blister comes. Well, when the blister comes, you want to pop the blister because blister can be very painful uh, if there's a fluid inside, uh, especially blood, right? You get a lot of blood. Yeah. yeah. And the blood can be pretty painful. So you want to drain the blood, but you, wanna, you don't want to do it right on top of the, um, top of the blister. You want to do go on the side and then puncture to the sharp needle, you, you obviously heat it up in the, in the oven so it sterilizes it, and then puncture it, and then squeeze the blood out or blister you know the fluid out from the side, and then don't take the top off because that's, that's um, unsterile and you can cause infection. So I recommend people um, not to take the top off. <laughs> I know some people want to take the top off. Don't peel off the layer. Yeah, don't yeah. peel off the layer, just let it sit there. Let the fluid kind of drain out. So what I'm doing right now is just kind of cleaning out the um, callus. This could, could be quite painful, so I'll go down as, as much as I could today. Yeah, so I, I tell people to drain it, but without taking the the top off. So Ray was telling me that he walks quite a bit. He's an avid walker. You walk about seven, eight miles a day, you tell me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of walking. That's a lot of walking, so this can uh, build up pretty quickly because the way this little toe sits is that we call them a little bit of hammer toe. Instead of sitting like this, it's rotated and it's kind of sitting on the side, which is a common problem. And then when that happens, this, um, this blister can form and then it hardens and forms a callus, we call it pinch callus. So it's a very common problem. It can happen in between all the toes, um, but uh, very common among this little toe and then the big toe as well, because big toe has some extra meat sitting on the side. So when you're, um, when you're walking, it can create that uh, pinch callus over there as well. So periodically we get rid of it, but if, it keeps becoming a problem and then you want to get rid of it permanently then we can cosmetically clean this out or cut it out and then put a couple of sutures in there and then you won't have this problem again so it's a pretty simple procedure but i do recommend for somebody like ray who walks seven yeah. eight miles a day and yeah. this is becoming a problem and then you want to take care of it permanently then then we can what's the recovery time for that uh, probably about three weeks or so until the sutures come out. It's not going to be perfect, but you'll be able to get around as soon as the suture heals. Um, then you'll be able to start walking. It's not big surgery, but obviously you're going to have a suture in there. We don't want any infection, right? While, while you have the suture. So you shouldn't be walking for about three weeks or so. So as you can see, I took a lot of the pinch cows out. If I do, uh, I can do a little bit more here. If I do any more, I can make him bleed so I don't want to do too much but it's going to be comfortable for him as soon as I finish like that. I'm going to go here also you got a little pinch callus over here as well so I'm going to take a little bit of the pinch callus out. 
So do you walk all 70 miles all at once or do you divide them up or how? Huh? Uh, typically, I split it up into two, two walks. So it, so it comes out to, you know, well, sometimes I do five miles and then maybe two or three more. So it's, I split it up typically. Wow, that's wow, that's that's really good. Yeah, I, I think everybody should be at least walking that much, like Wade's doing. I wish I could. Yeah. When I hurt my back and paralyzed twelve years ago, that's when I walked five miles a day and got my back better without surgery. So I highly recommend just walking. Huh? Just walking. Well, I did a little upside down. You know, I did some other stretching traction. and traction and things like that too. But I was paralyzed. Yeah. I I broke my bone uh, in the back, but I didn't know I broke it. And then one day it collapsed. I was paralyzed and I couldn't move it, I couldn't feel it, you know. So the only way I, that, that I got better was um, kind of, well, I got a little calcium over here too, so I might as well get that. Yeah, you got that one. Yeah. So, now yeah. What I, I did with that one is uh, my son's an athlete. He sometimes sprays, are you familiar with new skin? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've sprayed that on there and it's never really been the same. It's me again. Hope you've enjoyed this video so far. If you have, leave a word pinched in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button oh really i had like a, a cut there an opening uh from walking again and then i sprayed new new skin on there oh it's so just, it's better oh wow that's it, great it's never been the same that's a good tip new skin remember that one yeah 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 that's just so you can grip the racket that is mm. yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's great so here's another one right here i'm just cleaning it up yeah, I, I highly recommend most people walking. So you avoided surgery doing that? Right? Yeah, yeah, I didn't want surgery. It was and the lower back, you said? Lower back, L5S1. Uh, it's, uh, it's still not perfect, but I don't have pain, so there you have it. I, and I still walk at least 45 minutes every day on an inclined uh, treadmill every day, uh, just to keep my back stronger, you know, and then I do all kinds of other... All at once, 45 minutes? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I wish I had time to walk five miles what I used to do yeah so this one's a little unique because it's it had a blood cluster but you can see that it's, it's dried up so there's nothing in there anymore but we're just gonna clean this out as well yeah but that so wow that's amazing so so you make sure that you walk on a new climb now yeah because that strengthens it more and from all of this, I became diabetic when I, when I couldn't eat and I lost 40 pounds and, you know, I was in a lot of pain, right? And then... You mean you became diabetic after you lost the weight? I, I lost the... Well, I, when I was in pain, I couldn't eat. I was heavily medicated, right? I was in so much pain. So while I was recovering, I felt bad. So I went to the doctor and I realized that uh, both of my parents are diabetic. Mm -hmm. So this somehow turned on my diabetic gene. It's not from eating because I eat pretty well. But stress can bring about diabetes also. People don't know about that, but yes, it could. And that's what happened to me. So it's a little challenging to do uh, all the things a little bit different now, you know. But, yeah. but I highly recommend people walking a lot more. It's good for everything, you know. But you do that. Make sure you keep your posture, you know, um, the way it should be when you're walking up uphill then, right? Yes, yes, yes. I do that. And then I... I uh, stretch a lot I, I do a lot of kicking i'm a martial artist right so i do a lot of kicking still and that's why i think i broke my back years ago i didn't i don't know but i don't remember breaking it you know yeah so but now now i'm very careful about all the things that i do you know i don't i don't overdo it i don't jump like that but i can i can run and i can do things but i don't want to do it for a long time you know yeah because because um they never did surgery, and I didn't have much of a disc left, so. Wow. Yeah, because back surgery, you want to avoid that right at all costs. Yeah, if possible, yeah. Some some back surgery is obviously needed, but if, if you don't need it, you don't, you don't want it because it can be a lifelong issue, you know? Did you see the doctors right down the street here? Yeah. The orthopedic? Yeah, I saw the orthopedic guys. The orthopedic. They're, 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 they're my you friends. Want, do you know you want? Yeah, Dr. Yuan, Dr. Philip Yuan, yeah, yeah he's a, yeah, he's my neighbor. Oh yeah, he's a he's a great. Uh, he does an XO, right? Yeah, he, he's a great surgeon. I highly recommend him. He, he's done a lot of my patient. I sent all my back surgery patient. If if I ever need a back surgery, you'd probably be doing it. Mm -hmm. 
because he's, he's that good. But uh, I see so many complications with back surgeries, right? So we try not to go that route. But if, if I need one, he, he'll probably be the one doing it. He lives in Huntington Beach. No, he lives in Long Beach. Oh, is that? Oh, he yeah, moved. we're neighbors. Was that right? Oh, yeah, okay. so he, he, we became uh, friends. His, his kids play tennis, my son plays tennis. And, oh, really? Okay. You know, it's, yeah, I know, I know him. He's, he's a good guy. But weight's a huge part of the recovery, right? When you back, back surgery. And Which one? Weight, keeping your weight, maintaining weight. Yeah, maintaining weight is a big thing. And then I, I think the big part of it is going upside down, inversion table. That's not traction, is it? Or, or is it's, it? it's traction, but it's, it's upside down. You're doing it yourself. It's that same, same effect uh -huh. as the traction because you're, you're truly distracting the joint. And then it's, it's scientifically proven to regenerate cartilage. Because they did that, NASA did the study when they sent people out of space, when they didn't have gravity, their back pain improved. Really? Yeah. So that's that's why the whole idea came. What's the? Um, is it twenty minutes? Uh, um, I do about three minutes. There's there's really no protocol. I read all the books about it. Nobody says there's a specific protocol. But when you if you study um, yoga, these yogis they they go upside down three minutes. So that's where the, I got my idea. I, I don't know exactly. I, I've looked all over to find out what's the right protocol, how long you need to up, down, up, up upside down, but there's really nothing to, you know. How many times a week? I do twice a day. Oh, twice a day. Every day. Wow. Yeah. And I do a lot of kicking up a martial artist, right? So mm -hmm. as you can see now, I got I got most of those things out now. He had, he had a little bit of blood blister with a little dry blood that I cleaned all of that out. So here's... Uh, how that works and hopefully some of that would kind of grow back and if it comes back we have to do it again uh, unless he wants that cut out permanently and that's how the pinch calluses work this one you probably shaved down that yeah way. okay thank you ray for allowing us to film you today thank you for watching my video pinch callus can form a blood blister which needs to be drained to avoid severe pain if it persists you may have to have the callus cut out surgically for more videos just like this one Tap that subscribe button. Check out the next video here. See you next week.